Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Hit that like and subscribe button. So, this is my prediction video. The final one that I'm going to do on Manny Pacquiao versus Jeff Horn. You know, this fight's about to look like Papa Die vs. B-Rabbit. And Manny Pacquiao about to go off on Jeff Horn. It's going to be very similar to what Pacquiao did to uh, Jesse Vargas. Where, you know, Jesse Vargas was trying to land that overhand right. A straight right all night. Uh, Jeff Horn's going to try to do the same. He, he's mentioned this in video after video that I've seen. And, well, actually, I'm not going to lie. I haven't watched any Jeff Horn videos because I don't give a fuck about Jeff Horn, all right? But Jeff Horn... And I, I just read the captions. It says he's looking to land that same right hand that Marquez landed on Pacquiao to knock him out. And Jeff Horn is no Juan Manuel Marquez. Uh, he's not a technical box. He's not. We, I don't know anything about Jeff Horn. I've, I've seen two fights from Jeff Horn, all right? And that's all I needed to see to know that he ain't in the same league as a Manny Pacquiao, okay? It's just, I don't know how he got this position. You know, you might as well just call Jeff Horn, you know, the white Errol Spence. With all the flash, with all, without any power, without any skill. That's what this shit is. Because Jeff Horn went through the same shit that um, Errol Spence went through. You know, he worked his way up the rankings. You know, he's the former Olympian. Um, he don't say shit. Uh, I mean, Jeff Horn's a school teacher. This is confirmed. Uh, he teaches, I don't know, shop. I don't even know why you would teach shop in Australia, but, you know, y'all got motherfuckers got to do something out there in Australia, right? Um, no, not a diss. So, relax, okay? Uh, I mean, Jeff Horn drives Uber uh, on the weekends. I'm not sure if he's going to drive Uber tomorrow because, you know, he's got to get ready for this fight, you know. So, we don't know about that. One thing that is a bit confusing is why there's no drug testing for this fight. Uh... Why is there no drug testing? Manny Pacquiao is a clean fighter, right? So I guess we don't have anything to worry about. Wink, wink. But you know what? I hope Jeff Horn is taking all types of nandrolone and all types of shit. So if he fucking jab Manny Pacquiao, that motherfucker leg fall off or some shit. That's what I want to see. But, you know, I've heard that, uh, you know, the WBO doesn't typically like to do drug testing because of the added expense to the fight. Right. Because you guys are top rank belt, right? That's why you guys don't want to do the drug testing. But I digress, man. Um, you know, I read some article where they said that they plan on doing drug testing after the fight. You know, they're going to collect urine samples and Bob Arum is going to drink both urine samples so that he can determine how much or if any uh, PEDs were in both of their systems. Because Bob Arum's of, you know, I ain't going to get into that, man. He owed his shit anyway. Uh... But yeah, Manny Pacquiao wins this fight. And there's really not much else you can say. There's really nothing to break down. Because the only way Jeff Horn wins is if he gets off a lucky shot. And I don't foresee that happening. I mean, he's 5'9". Pacquiao's like, what, 5'5"? Five, five? He's taller than Pacquiao. But Jesse Vargas was taller than Pacquiao, too. And you saw what happened to him. He was flat on his ass. The, the big question is, is Manny Pacquiao going to knock out Jeff Horn? You know, they, they keep talking about... Manny Pacquiao's strength has been reinvigorated. You know, he's been, I don't know, what the fuck? He's been drinking some some power shakes. I'm not sure what Pacquiao been doing, man. You know, maybe he just, he's going to do some meth before the fight. I don't know. Maybe. You never know. Maybe he'll take some greenies. You know, you know look that shit up. That's some good shit. Um, yeah, I really don't know what else to say about Manny Pacquiao versus Jeff Horn as... As far as, you know, no one wants to see the fight. I mean, I still haven't seen one Manny Pacquiao fan tell me why this is a good fight. And, you know, if you're a Pacquiao fan, I really urge you to, to leave a comment and, and let me know why this is a good fight. Why this is a better fight than Pacquiao versus a Thurman or a, a Sean Porter or Errol Spence. Hell, I, I would even like to see Manny Pacquiao fight Andre Berto. But if you're a Pacquiao fan, you'll say, ha, 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 Manny Pacquiao beat Andre Berto easy, right? That's what you're going to say if you're a fucking Pacquiao fan. You're going to say that shit and, you know, it is what it is. So, um, good luck to Jeff Horn, though, man. He's going to need it tomorrow night. He's going to need that. And, you know, as far as after this fight is concerned, you know, if you got a YouTube channel, uh, if, if you got a voice, you got to push people to make these videos about Pacquiao fighting someone that we want him to see. We have a voice, you know. People do watch these videos. 
you know, I'm going to do my part. You know, I'll make as many videos as I have to about Manny Pacquiao fighting somebody, somebody of note, not on the top rank stable because I'm not into trilogies. I'm not into seeing Pacquiao fight somebody for a fifth time. You know, I just want to see Manny Pacquiao challenge himself or just lose the belt. It's simple, man. You know, he's not doing that belt any justice. You know, we got guys that are looking to unify belts at welterweight, and it looks like Manny Pacquiao's not trying to do that. So, what is the point of you holding that belt and defending it against people that we don't know? Do, I mean, you need money, right? So, why don't you fight somebody that's going to give you some money like a Broner? But you got to pay Broner because this is a fucking business, dude. At the end of the day, Terrence Crawford is going to eventually fight you, beat your ass, and then you're going to be done. Because you don't have a say-so in the matter. Bob Aaron needs to cash out. You know? So, again, Manny Pacquiao will beat Jeff Horn. I'm not sure if he knocks him out. But Jeff Horn will be on his ass at some point in this fight. And that's it. And again, after the fight, I'm going to keep making videos about Pacquiao. And, you know, we need to push Pacquiao versus a top five, top ten opponent. I'm sorry. That, that's that's what it is. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of Pacquiao getting by on fighting bums like this, like Jeff Horn, regardless of whether he worked his way up in the rankings or not. You know, excuses, excuses. Jesse Vargas was a title holder. Oh, what the? Who gives a fuck? What is, Jesse Vargas hasn't even been in the ring since he lost to Manny Pacquiao. What the fuck is he doing? Timothy Bradley, a fucking... Pee Wee football coach. What the fuck is he doing in his career? You know? Marquez. He got two bionic knees, man. He's probably never going to fight again. Who else did Pacquiao fight? What's that motherfucker's name? It really, you know, it really don't matter to me. But he fought a lot of bums the second half of his career. So, it is what it is. Manny Pacquiao, he ain't nothing but a bitch. Hitman Boxing, I'm out. This world will bring you down with mass confusion and complexities. But I am the master of my fate and captain of my soul, you see. Stuck in a mentality that says one thing and does another. Oh, the contradictories. That's when I visit my utopia of Capricornia to be free. Most would say that's not normal, but for me, life is but a dream and your reality is what it seems. I'm sitting in the crib I found on Craigslist, staring out in space, scheming what my next move is. I'm thinking that it's time to move west. No idea what I'm doing, I'm just trying my best. Not exactly where I thought I'd be. Honestly, a nine to five never was in my dreams. I've been feeling all alone lately. Nothing I ain't used to since 88 as a baby. When I came up out the womb, everybody knew it was something special about me that fills a room. I never understood it, but my OG told me it's a blessing. I should use it to the fullest. And that's what I've been trying to do. But it's hard to keep a smile on your face while paying dues. Damn, it's hella cloudy in the room. And the shadow of reality is darkest when it glooms. I'm in the midst of the world. I wish someone could see me. Surrounded by clouds, free me. It's like an endless dream. Leading to endless roads. I want to be free from the army of clouds. I dream about a month ago While I was sleeping on the couch in my parental's house That's when I knew that it was time for me to up and go So I booked it, couple friends took it personal Like why you just up and go Ain't even bother to tell nobody that's rude, bro It was unintentional Conversations with myself, I need a hospital I think I've gone bipolar Half of me is conservative and the other stoner I think I lost the love that I had from a good girl The temp is negative 18, yeah, that's a cold world Janis Joplin that's playing on my Pandora station Cosmic blues, just some emotional life changes Whole time, no, I gotta stop looking back Because the future's not a present, gotta get on I'm track I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me like an endless dream leading to endless roads i want to be free from this army of clouds